session. And we have liftoff. SpaceX has officially launched its Polaris Dawn rocket into orbit this morning. The launch comes after several failed attempts. And if all goes according to plan, this time the four private civilians on board will take part in a historic spacewalk that's set for September 12th. So joining me now with the latest on this is CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. Bill, I was watching this on SpaceX's uh, website, and everyone that was there, and I think it was like 2 in the morning for them, absolutely thrilled. Can you remind people who's on board and what this crew will, will be doing? Yeah, you know, it really is an exciting flight as these things go, as if any of them aren't exciting. Uh, but, you know, the commander of this flight is Jared Isaacman. He's a billionaire entrepreneur and philanthropist. You know, he charted the very first commercial SpaceX mission back in 2021, raised more than $240 million for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, a very accomplished pilot in his own right, and quite the adventurer. Uh, he charted this mission in cooperation with SpaceX founder Elon Musk. His crewmates are Scott Poteet, who's an F-16 pilot, a former Thunderbird pilot, very accomplished uh, um, airman, and then two SpaceX employees, uh, Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon. These are the first time SpaceX has actually had two of their own engineers on board one of their spacecraft. So uh, pretty exciting for SpaceX to have their own crew members up there. Um, and, of course, the highlight of this mission, as you said, the first civilian non-government spacewalk coming up early Thursday morning. Uh, that's going to be quite dramatic and uh, record-setting in and of itself. Yeah, that alone, right? So we have four people who have never done spacewalks before. Usually there's at least one person on the crew who's familiar. And I read that the rocket is going further out into space than usually these sort of rockets do. Just, I gave people a couple of tidbits. But just remind them of how historic this really is. Well, you know, it's interesting. You know, the space station, the International Space Station, orbits at an altitude of about 260 miles. Uh, the SpaceX Crew Dragon, the, the Polaris Dawn crew, is in an elliptical orbit. The low point is around 118 miles, but the high point is up around 870 miles. That's higher than any astronauts, or cosmonauts for that matter, have flown since the Apollo program, since the Apollo astronauts flew to the moon. So not only are they carrying out the first civilian spacewalk, uh, they're going to set an Earth orbit altitude record uh, for piloted space flight. So that's another uh, a big step forward for SpaceX. And the first time their spacesuits have ever actually been tested in space. Yeah, that's true. You know, they're wearing SpaceX design suits. Uh, they don't have airbags or air packs, I should say, on the back like you see in the space station uh, spacewalks that, that NASA does. They'll be connected to the Crew Dragon spacecraft by uh, safety lines and umbilicals that are carrying their oxygen and communications, things like that. And they're not going to really float free of the Crew Dragon. They're going to basically uh, float up out of the nose hatch, just above that hatch, uh, for about 15 minutes each. Uh, Jared Isaacman's going to do one of these, and Sarah Gillis is going to do the other spacewalk. Uh, so they really want to test these suits. They're trying to come up with a lower cost, easier to manufacture spacesuit than what NASA currently has. Um, well, it's absolutely going to be thrilling. I hope that they are very successful, Bill, and we can talk again about it. Bill Harwood, thank you very much.